Spook Jackson here on behalf of ESPN. Now, in 2004, McDonald's decided to take their All-American game to Oklahoma City. But it wasn't a cat from OC that had everybody buzzing. It's a cat from New York. His name? Sebastian Telfair. Now, there were rumors floating around that Sebastian wasn't a true point guard. Scoring 30 points a game? Eh, had people's minds twisted. Watch this game and watch Sebastian drop dimes everywhere. The best boys hoopsters in the land are ready to ball in Oklahoma City. The 2004 McDonald's All-American Game here at the Ford Center in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Gay signed with UConn, Jefferson with Arkansas, Smith with Carolina, Telfair with Louisville. And the West starting lineup, Aflalo is signed with Kentucky, Hairston is undecided, Livingston signed with Duke, Swift with USC, and Williams with Carolina. We're underway in the 2004 McDonald's All-America game, the 27th game. Presented by McDonald's. Here is J.R. Smith from deep. And Jefferson with a rebound. J.R. Smith regarded as the best shooter all week long. Gay was headed to Connecticut to play for Jim Calhoun if he decides uh, definitely to go to Connecticut. And the follow by Al Jefferson, who's been compared to Eddie Curry. Jefferson signing with Arkansas. you got to be impressed with that one pass on that, that possession and three <laughs> jump shots yeah. sharing the ball. Al Jefferson actually said that he reminds himself of Sean Kemp when he was with the Sonics. He wanted me to point out it wasn't the fat Sean Kemp from Orlando. <laughs> Pre-NBA lockout shot, yeah. Viewers can enjoy our bottom line coming out of every timeout. Scroll the players where they've signed and how many points they have in the game. As the three goes for J.R. Smith, headed to North Carolina, played for Danny Hurley at St. Benedict's Prep in Newark, New Jersey. And think about this. Here's a guy with a 44-inch vertical who can also shoot the run. I think J.J. Redick needs Vince Carter. I like that. Three on two. Howard all the way. Yeah, that's the thing that impresses me the most about Howard. I asked him, which position will you play in the NBA, expecting a power forward or center? He said he thinks he could be a small forward with his athleticism. I wouldn't doubt it. You played in the NBA. Why does nobody want to be a center? There is, there is, you never hear a place that, you know, I want to play inside. Point guards like you just don't dump it inside of it. Sebastian, one of the guys to really keep a close eye on today. Smith nails that. The second attempt from about 30 feet, and he's one on a two from there. Here's Sean Livingston, 6'7 point guard, who uh, for now is headed to Duke. What a dish to Swift. Of all the players that I've seen this week, Sean Livingston is my favorite. He is the most mature, a little bit frail in the body. He's also considering the dunk. I would put him, I would say that he's probably going to the NBA from what I've seen and heard. Six points for Swift, and Telfair with his first bucket. Out of Brooklyn, Telfair signing with Louisville. And also, you have guys that aren't normally jump shooters, shooting jump shot. Dwight Howard off the great feed from J.R. Smith. Six points for Howard. Yeah, I mean, you watch the breakaway layup, J.R. Smith, easy alley Dwight Howard, but that's what's, that's what's just crazy about the fact that some of these guys are basing whether they're going to come out of high school and go to the NBA on how they play today. True. Because how many NBA games have you seen that are up and down in this wide open? No more. Let's check in with Tim McCormick. He's with Dwight Howard. Thanks a lot, Dave. Dwight, what'd you think out there? I think I'm doing good. Uh, I think we got to keep up the intensity, play even harder on defense so we can uh, go up some more. All right, we are speculating on what you will become as an NBA player. Who's the guy that you watch, and what do you need to work on to become like him? Uh, I watch Kevin Garnett a lot. I think I need to work on my quickness and my agility on defense and offense so uh, I can be an overall better player. The Morgan Wooten National Player of the Year. Uh, what's been the highlight for you this week? The highlight this week was going down to the run of the Dunner House and meeting all the less fortunate kids. And, Knowing that I'm, I'm blessed to be able to play basketball while they're in the hospital, it was just a real blessing to see what God has brought me out of. So I'm really happy about that. Dwight, you get that first big paycheck next fall. What's the first thing that you're going to buy? I'm going to buy my mom and dad a nice car. All right, very good. Get back there and have fun. Sebastian Telfair back into the game. Nine assists so far for Telfair. Good play defensively by Farmar. And Nelson is fouled. 
Marcus Nelson, who signed with Duke. What are your thoughts, Tim, on, on Elder so far? Well, Sebastian is is sort of an enigma player. He's he's very talented. He has a huge reputation. I think it's a lock that he's going to the NBA. Uh, but you're right. You mentioned earlier that people question a couple things. Can he make a jump shot? He is really great with his handle and shared a story with me that really kind of illustrates the problem. When he was eight years old, he would go to the local playground that they called the Garden, and he'd watch his cousin, a 17-year-old kid, ready to be a McDonald's All-American named Stefan Marbury. Now, this punk little kid would always stand on the sideline and wouldn't get to play with the older kids. He was only eight years old, so he would dribble the basketball. He said that at midnight, they would turn the lights off and tell everybody to go home. That's the only time that he would get a chance to shoot, so he grew up shooting in the dark. No wonder he can't make jump shots. <laughs> See, some people shoot the lights out. Other people shoot with the lights out. <laughs> It'd be amazing if you could shoot them on, huh? But the, the good thing is that with Sebastian, he's a good athlete. He plays hard, and I think he's going to get better. Well, I, I, he's got to get better if he wants to play in the NBA. But you, you look at Jameer Nelson, who is the, the premier point guard in the in in the in college, the, the player of the year. I got a chance to see him play last week. I mean, just light years difference in the four years in college. If you give the ball to Telfair, let him play two years of college basketball, you're talking about a major star in the NBA down the road. If he goes now, probably late first round, and who knows how much he plays. Yeah, and you, you look at his cousin, Stephon Marbury, when he played at Georgia Tech. Remember, he had Drew Barry with him, who's actually the all-time assist leader at Georgia Tech, so he could concentrate more on, on scoring and truly running the offense. They had a great year, won the ACC, and I think that would be appropriate because he has the talent to play at the next level. But he just doesn't have the altogether game yet. Speaking of the ACC, J.R. Smith, who's headed to North Carolina, has dropped three bombs on us. Three deep triples, trying for a fourth. Won't get it. Darius Washington, who led his high school Edgewater to a 29-2 record. He's averaged better than 30 points per game each of the last two years. One of those two losses went on ESPN to sit out some helpers at Lincoln High School. Howard with another jam. And the East team has hit the 100-point mark. All right, guys, we got 50 seconds left. Cast your vote for MVP. Who do you think? It's a tough call. Uh, wasting time. Well, you go first, then. Taking J.R. Smith. I mean, he, you know, he's, he's played with enthusiasm. He shot the ball well from the outside. Yes, he's, yes, he's cherry-picked or, or snowbird. It depends on what part of the country <laughs> you want to go with the vocabulary. There's a list of players that went straight from high school, winning the McDonald's MVP award to the NBA the, uh, the, NBA the following season. Their numbers in this game. Well, 25 points for J.R. Smith, 19 points for Dwight Howard. Al Jefferson with a double double, 16 points, 10 rebounds. I think that the most impressive player in this game was Dwight Howard. You know, he, he was athletic. He, he played both ends of the court. I, I just thought that J.R. shot a little bit. Too deep, and, and, and his shot selection was very poor. Can't believe the guy's being held on the MVP award for shot selection and getting an all-star game. And he made five of them from 30 feet. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he went one for 12. He went five for 10. The three goes for Mike Williams. So we got 5.9 left. The question is, who's going to get it done? Demarcus Nelson. We saw that in the dunk contest yesterday. <laughs> very, very similar. And Apollo almost makes a half-court shot as the 2004 McDonald's All-America High School Boys game comes to a close with the East team winning 126-96. to 96. 